far as my history as a photographer, I would say I really began becoming interested uh, when I was probably about 10 years old. I signed up for my Girl Scout summer camp and you could choose your theme for the week and I chose Shutterfly. I can still remember developing a roll of black and white film in the pantry of the camp's kitchen. And through Girl Scouts and just taking hikes, I developed this connection with nature, even though I was growing up in the suburbs of Chicago. We ended up moving to Arkansas, and I had my first child. I bought my first DSLR camera, and I started to photograph her more and more. Since we live out in the woods and we're outdoor people, a lot of my pictures were of my child in nature. I'm photographing my family every day, which pushes me because we do a lot of the same things every day. So you're always looking for new light and interesting moments that might be quirky to people elsewhere that's normal to us. We have mud puddles on our road and I refuse to fill them in because every year we have tadpoles growing in them. There was a couple juvenile bullfrogs and my daughter and son were just working on catching them and she is just a gentle soul and um, she was hugging it. It was a, a genuine, she just loves frogs, she loves lizards, she loves animals in general. I follow the Nature Conservancy on my Instagram and they had posted something, oh, we're having a photo contest. I thought, oh, maybe I can enter some photos of my kids, uh, you know, in nature. You know, you see the grand prize winners are these huge epic scenes, you know, of wildlife or of landscapes. And, you know, I don't feel like I've really successfully taken an amazing landscape photo and so it's easy I think to get discouraged and say oh I don't have any of these epic scenes well my photo that won third place in the photo contest was of my daughter and a frog which is not some epic scene it's a moment that our family had in its connection with nature I think it's important to inspire others to get back to nature, to maybe remind people of their youth, how it was growing up, you know, 40 or 50 years ago. Go out and take new photos. Go take a walk in the forest. Go take a walk in the grasslands. Go take a walk, you know, in your agriculture field. There's nature everywhere, even on a city street. Go try to make some new images. You know, maybe take a friend or a family member along and just have fun with it. I just encourage you to go out, take a walk, go shooting.